Hello everybody, welcome to Noble Reactions, where we break down the latest and greatest movie trailers for all those amazing movies that are about to hit the theaters. And today we are going to be watching and talking about the new Super Mario Brothers movie that is going to be coming very soon here. This is the official real first, I feel like the first real trailer for this movie. There was a teaser kind of trailer before. We didn't really get to hear Mario speak or do anything really specifically, so I'm kind of anxious to see what this new trailer has in store for us, if he's gonna talk a little bit more. Last time I couldn't really get a good feel, so we're gonna jump right into it, I'm excited. Alright, so let's get started with a little bit of background. If you haven't seen the Super Mario Brother movies back in the day, then you're probably lucky because those movies were terrible! Those were not good Mario movies. I think all of us have stricken those from our memories. They were just not good. And honestly, when they first announced that they were making a new Super Mario Brothers movie, I gotta be honest, I don't think too many people were excited about it. I, I definitely was a little anxious. Um, I saw they were using Chris Pratt for the voice of Mario. And then they're using Charlie Day for Luigi. I don't know, I just I, I just wasn't really feeling it. I was kind of feeling like, I don't know about this thing. Is this gonna be another, another one of those really busted, dusted Marios that we've had in the past? But I mean, Chris Pratt's a pretty big actor. I mean, pretty big name actor. So I kind of feel like he wouldn't have signed on for a movie if it wasn't gonna be pretty good. So hopefully, and honestly, the first Chila teaser trailer looked pretty good, but I'm anxious to see what this next one is. So. Um, I'm hoping for a lot. We grew up in the Mario gaming um, era. We've been playing Super Mario Brothers since the original Super Mario Brothers 8-bit on Nintendo. Don't get me wrong, and all the people shouting out there right now are saying, well, technically Mario was in Donkey Kong, and then there was Mario Bros with the little crabs and the little pal in the middle. But really the first Mario Mario game, I feel like, was Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo, the 8-bit, the old side-scroller. So. We've been playing them for a long, long time. I still think Super Mario 64 has got to be my personal favorite. What's your favorite? The original Mario, probably. The original? Oh, that yeah. old busted one? Ah, yeah, no, not for me. Super Mario 64, I think that's where it's at. Everybody watching this video is like, you all are crazy. It's definitely Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario Sunshine or some other weird version. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get to the trailer. I'm pumped. Let's go ahead and watch it together and then we'll give you our reactions and break it down for you right after. this? It looks like he's going into some sort of arena or something. He's like gladiator style, like trying to pop himself up or something. Alright. Let's go. There's Donkey Kong! He said, let's -a go! That's giving me a Not sure if you know who I am, from Thor. But I'm about to rule the world. Wow, uh, yay. But there's one problem. There's a human, has a mustache, just like you. <laughs> Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> okay, yeah. Bowser is coming. Together, we are going to kinda, stop that I'm monster. Digging this. Their How? voices. Look at us. We're adorable. <laughs> oh, I got this. No problem. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> at the yes. side scroller. Come on, Mario. Our big adventure begins now. Ah, get it off, get it off, get it off. <laughs> Ooh, the raccoon. There's a huge universe out there. A lot of Saw Yoshi. They're all counting on us. Okay. Okay. No pressure. Nice Mario Kart. Huh. Rainbow Road. Nice. Huh. Huh. That's cute. That looks cute. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What 
you think? First, first impressions. Well, I saw Princess Peach and Donkey Kongs, and that was, I was hope I knew, I figured they were probably gonna be in it. Um, Donkey Kong's my favorite character. Donkey Kong Country is are my favorite games. Um, but I, their voices didn't bother me at all, being yeah, not like animated voices. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was I was impressed with the voices. Yeah, actually, Charlie Day with Luigi's voice, I thought it worked perfectly. Um, yeah, and the color scheme um, that they're using, I might have said this in the first trailer. I love it. I love all the colors. Yeah. I love the animation is like yeah. top notch. Uh, it's really good. I, I really dug the voices too. I thought Charlie Day sounded great. I, I didn't know what to expect. I like Charlie Day though. I like Charlie Day. I think he's good. Um, and his voice actually worked really well for Luigi. Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. I wasn't sure what to expect from her voice. I thought her voice was perfect. Yeah, and I liked it because she didn't sound so like dainty. You know how Princess Peach is like, Mario, or whatever uh -huh. she says. It's what like really like... like <laughs> <laughs> really like meek and you know yeah super super girly this she's this peach sounds more authoritative yeah and um like she knows what she's doing like she doesn't need to be saved that she's going to be do the, doing yeah. the saving but she still sounded like peach though which i liked yeah she like, did she still i it like her voice it felt like peach to me like if i would have thought of what peach's voice sounded like it was good it was perfect i liked it a lot and then chris pratt's mario was good i liked it i mean he wasn't quite as like it's a me, a Mario, you know, like super Italian plumber, more like New York, you know, Brooklyn accent kind of thing, uh, which I which I think is good because that's kind of what it really is. And I like it. Um, I, I like the voices. Jack Black for Bowser. Honestly, I was I was listening to Bowser. I knew Jack Black played Bowser, but I didn't hear Jack Black. No, you said it the first time. I was like, huh? That didn't sound like Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I feel like maybe I need more yeah. dialogue. I need to go back and watch it again and try to like re- are, you know, retuned to Jack Black. Because I wasn't thinking Jack Black in the trailer when he was talking, and now that I think back later, I'm like, I don't know. It didn't feel Jack Black to me, so. Um, but, I liked all the Easter eggs in it. Yeah. Throwbacks to the games. Oh, 100%. Uh, yeah, so yeah. let's break it down. Let's go through the trailer, because I want to break it down and talk about all the different frames. So it starts off right in the beginning. Right in the beginning, uh, Mario's like coming out. He's like psyching himself up. I, at first, I thought he was kind of like, he was mad about something. But then I realized he was like trying to psych himself up. I saw the like, there's like a wooden sword or something in the background. Um, he's like, he's like kind of like getting ready for something. And I realized he's like this, I, I heard the crowd kind of in the background. I was like, he must be walking out to like a Coliseum of some kind. Um, and it, it, it really reminded me of like Gladiator kind of like walking out and he's getting pumped up. Uh, and then who do we see Are these challenging? Who does he have to fight? His old nemesis, Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. And I love that. I think it's great. It's a great Easter egg. It's a great throwback. And also, I kept getting... I, I, I was trying to think about it in the, during while we were watching the trailer, but it wasn't coming to me until, like, later. But Thor. Um, Thor Ragnarok. I was getting Thor Ragnarok uh, vibes when um, Thor had to fight Hulk in the arena, and it was kind of like the same thing. It was like... <laughs> You know, Thor's this like little dude. I mean, he is a he's a god and god of you know thunder and everything. But like Hulk, basically just like smashes him. And Donkey uh, Kong does that. He's like yeah, Donkey. He's, <laughs> he's like I'm gonna bust Donkey Kong up. Donkey Kong's just like <laughs> smash, uh, which just kind of reminded me of Thor. I love the scene in um, Thor Ragnarok when he was like trying to explain it to Bruce Banner or whatever, and he's like, did did I win? And Thor's like, no, I did easily. <laughs> and then Bruce is like. That doesn't sound right, because <laughs> he didn't. Obviously, Hulk smashed him, but I just thought it was funny. That's what I was getting, those vibes. I love that. Um, I don't know if that's what they were going for from an Easter egg perspective, but that's what it felt like to me. I thought it was really cool. Um, obviously, you know, Super Smash Bros. You know, that's that's a big, again, it's funny to me because there's so many, and we're going to call them out here, but there's so many different Mario games, or I should say games, Nintendo games that Mario is in, that are in this movie. Yeah. Um, Super Smash Bros. right there out of the gate. Now, I don't know if you remember from the first trailer. Um, I think the first trailer did a better job of kind of setting up the plot mm -hmm. a little bit with Bowser. Um, he does talk about it in this trailer where he says, you know, I'm I'm basically setting up to take over the world and there's only one problem and it's this dude with a mustache that's getting in my business. <laughs> um, and Luigi's like, do you think I know everybody yeah. who has a single letter on their hat and, you know, a mustache? <laughs> um, so obviously it's Mario, uh, but in the first in the first trailer it kind of shows like Bowser's like armada taking over like this like snowy ice world, mm -hmm. um, and in this one it doesn't really show that it just yeah. kind of shows like a little bit of battle, but a little bit of like um, a war 
scenario, all the little toads are around the table kind of showing the setup for this big war that's coming. Um, but yeah, so it looks like that's basically the plot, like pretty much makes sense. Bowser's trying to take over the world and the only one that can stop him is, of course, Mario <laughs> and Luigi and Yoshi. Yeah. I saw a bunch of Yoshis. Did you see them all? Yes. It was like a whole herd of Yoshis in there. And I thought it was interesting the part that Peach and Toad uh, were going off and Peach was talking and basically it sounded like she was doing the saving instead of being saved. She was wearing pants. She wasn't wearing her like little dress. Um, and she had um, a weapon. Yeah, like a halberd or and something. And I don't think I've ever axe. seen Princess Peach with a weapon. Halberd? Um, and, I don't know. And once again, her voice sounds a little more, a lot more authoritative than Princess Peach in the games. Yeah. Uh, but not like so much it's annoying because she still sounded like girly, but definitely more authoritative. And it's nice yeah. that she'll be doing the saving for once. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. If she gets to save him. <laughs> I mean, she definitely looks like a bad, you know, mama jamma. I mean, she looks <laughs> like... She 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 does have like her little dress in some of the some of the yeah. scenes, but then at one point she's walking with this big giant. I think it's a halberd, some sort of like axe. I don't know what that is. Thing, I just saw a long whatever. Um, axe thing on and there. she looks like she's about to whoop some butts. And she's um, still wearing pink. Still wearing pink. She still got her fit on. She still looks yeah. cool. Almost looks like a motorcycle outfit or something. She looks cool. I think they might be trying to get some of the toads. Toad might be trying to get some of his fe fellow toadstools to help, and they're like. No, we're too cute or something. So I like that there's comedy and like some mm -hmm. cute, a cute factor. Yeah. I don't know if cute factor is, but. And it makes sense. Keegan Michael Key plays Toad and he is hilarious. <laughs> I love him. Everything he's in, just he just kicks it up a notch. I'm sorry, the dude rocks. <laughs> he's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to all the comic relief that he's gonna bring to this movie. Uh, but yeah, all the, all, most of the Toads look like a bunch of wimps. Like they're like, no, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna participate. Uh, maybe they will, maybe they'll rise up, I don't know. Um, I love the throwback, I love the side-scroller part. With the little oh, yeah. fireballs coming around. Oh, I definitely and... did. Side-scrollers are my favorite, which is yeah. why I said Well, it's because we're old original, school, honey. Yeah, the Very original um, yeah. Marios are my favorite and Donkey Kong Country, because they're side-scrollers. So I like that mm. they brought that um, into mm. effect and you can see like the different like forces or whatever that come against them, like the fish. Yeah attacking you when you're trying to walk over a bridge mm -hmm. or like the fireballs mm -hmm. um do you like the fact you that you get halfway through a level and then have to have me finish the level for you uh, no not all of them <laughs> i can finish most of them <laughs> yeah but not so much on donkey kong country yeah that's where i had to step in <laughs> that game is hard it's so fun though. that game's tough I all of them it. donkey kong country one through 73 or however many there are now i don't know um but i love the side scroller i think it's cool cool little throwback I don't know what purpose it has in the movie other than because I couldn't tell, but it was maybe it was a training course. Maybe yeah. it was a training course. Maybe that's it. Maybe it would, Princess Peach is like, you're going to have to go through this training course. You're going to help me out. And it looks like they're introducing in the movie, uh, not introducing, I mean showing, um, the different powers that you can get throughout the Mario games because they definitely show a whole field of flower power flowers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's exciting. Yeah. And the raccoon tail thing when he, yeah. when he, um, when he turns into the raccoon. I think in the original, like, I'm trying to remember because it's been a while, but like, Mario, Super Mario 3, is it? Doesn't he just get like the tail? Yeah, I think so. Then you just like, it starts spinning and you run really fast and then you can fly up. Is that the third one? I think. I don't know. I didn't play that one though. And then there's, maybe that's the second, I don't remember. No, the second one was the weird it's one not that has like one. radishes and stuff <laughs> in it. But the third one, I think, is the one where he has, he just gets a little tail and it starts spinning and you can fly. But there's another one, this Tazuki suit or something like that, I think is what it's called. Isn't it a raccoon? I don't remember, no, it's but it's more of like a suit. He puts like a whole suit on <laughs> and I think it looks like a raccoon. I think it might be Tazuki or something suit. Anyway, that was in there, whatever that was called. Let us know in the comments how wrong we are about all these things. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I played some of the older games. And then the last thing that we see in the preview is a race. Mario Kart. On Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road's hard. Hardest freaking board, man. <laughs> I mean, there are harder boards, to tech, kind of. It depends on which Mario Kart, but like, that board is tough. I'm always in last place, and I always have the freaking blue shot, uh, spiny shell. Is it blue or red? It's blue. It's blue. And so I always get those And I'm, since I'm in last place, and then I'm throwing at the people in the front so people yeah. get mad at me. But that is always me. Yeah. I'm always in 12th place. Remember the original blue spiny shell? Like, it just, it, 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 I think the original one like surfed on the ground, didn't it? 
Yeah. And then eventually they, they had it where it flies above yeah. everyone and then it like comes down and blows wings. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, it, it looks cool. I don't know what purpose the race has. I have no idea what the race has to do with saving no the kingdom. I saw Princess Peach in the racing on her little motorcycle. Maybe See, I said she looked like she was wearing a motorcycle outfit. Maybe that was her outfit. Probably. It's like a little jumpsuit. Yeah, super cute. Yeah. So there's so many things about all the games. We got Super Smash Bros. in there. We've got um, the awesome side scroller throwback Mario's with powers and everything. And then we've got Super Mario Kart in there. There could be other stuff in there that I just didn't even notice. And then maybe they'll show some other stuff. Maybe they'll show the little pal block. Maybe Donkey Kong will be throwing some barrels. I don't know. We'll find out. But... Extra lives. Yeah. So it's so cool. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to maybe actually finally have a Super Mario movie worthy of the Super Mario brand and the Nintendo brand. I think there this hasn't... one's definitely going to be worthy. Yeah, I, I hope so. I can tell by the trailer. So this movie comes out in theaters on April 7th of 2023. But before we go, what do you give it? Is this a noble or a nope trailer? It's definitely a noble. It's, it looks really good to me. I mean, I can't disagree. <laughs> it's a noble trailer for me. I mean, the, after I saw the first trailer, I kind of feel like it was noble. Um, but I wasn't sure because it didn't show a ton, but I, I really, this one brought it home for me. This is a noble trailer for me too, so. There you have it, two nobles, two thumbs up. This looks like a noble trailer. I can't wait to see it. April 7th, 2023, it's gonna be coming. I don't know if we'll get any more trailers between now and then, but I don't know that I need any more. This movie looks so fun, so much fun, fun for all ages. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let us know if you agree. If there's things that we missed, I'm sure there's some Easter eggs and things that we didn't see in there. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, what do you think about this movie? Are you excited? Do you think it's going to be a bust? Do you think it's going to be like the old Mario movie that they created, the old Super Mario Bros? Or do you think it's going to be more like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie that I think was kind of a sleeper that everyone was like, I don't think this movie's going to be good. And then they retooled Sonic and it became a huge, I think the highest grossing, most successful video game movie of all time. So maybe this will knock it off its top slot. So that's all we've got for you. Until we see you next time, be sure to like, subscribe, share this content with anybody you think might be interested. Until next time, thanks for watching.